Welcome to a BL world where a teddy bear turns into a human, slippers can talk, baluster becomes jealous and a couch is hi-fi. Seems like a children's TV program, however, it is one BL with complex storyline and layered characters not quite suitable for young children. The series created quite a stir in Tylacorn as it was aired in the primetime weekend slot at one of the most watched free-to-air TV channel in Thailand. However, in due time it received a lot of praise as it reached the households that would have never watched BL. BL just has a very small niche market in Thailand, and the general populace do prefer Thai soaps which are called Lakorns, with lot of melodrama and misogyny. The miracle of Teddy Bear can be termed as a BL Lakorn as it has all the melodrama of a Lakorn and the runtime of 1 hour 30 minutes per episode with 16 episodes, kinda makes it one of the longest BL. Yet, for me I enjoyed the full duration of each episode without skipping any scene. The basic synopsis runs like this, Nut is a gay guy who has suffered a lot of trauma while growing up for being gay, he has this teddy bear as his comfort object which he would hug when he is sad, and one day a miracle happens and the teddy bear turns into a human and the story that follows makes up the whole story. The thing I really appreciate is the realistic nature of the series, apart from the teddy becoming human and talking furniture, the show consists of realistic portrayal of the situation of gays, the power play that happens in Thai society, and how they are above the law. Not only that this show also deals with childhood trauma and the mental and physical abuse from toxic parents as well as society. Similarly, it touches the topic of schizophrenia and Alzheimer's, and Ummap Siri portrayed it beautifully. Though she has played the mother of almost all actors in Thailand, still this series gave her enough moments to show her acting capability. When it comes to acting, almost everybody did a very good job. In Sarin as Tofu is lovely and did a wonderful job. You can see his duality when he is portraying this popular guy Nung and this fluffy tofu. And as this is the season of showing your ear, Sarin led the way in the first episode itself, but those who watch it on Channel 3 instead of Netflix will be deprived of the view. Similarly, Job did his career best performance both as this broken and aggressive adult nut as well as this bullied high school kid nut who has a crush on his popular senior. His argument with his mom when he is in high school is one of his best acting, he looked small, vulnerable and at 29 years of age, looked actually like a high school kid. Apart from the three main leads the supporting cast also did a good job, the second couple though a bit cliche, they are fun to watch. The series also showed the warm and accepting parents as well as the homophobic father as well as teacher. And as everyone were senior actors, they did a good job and are fit for the role. And I warn you beforehand, the aggressive behavior of the main character Nut might be difficult for most of the foreign viewers to watch, however, the makers were able to somewhat redeem the actions of the character later on. Apart from that, the series deals with a lot of activism, either it is the lecture about oppression by the slipper or the explanation about what it means to be gay. These scenes are significant as the channel is popular in Thai households. Well, though the series was not able to rake in the views expected of a primetime broadcast, still it is on the top three in both Sage 3 and Netflix Thailand. The only thing I am worried is the channel might not make a BL again for some time, as everything comes down to views and TRP. Among the viewers who watched this series, some are disappointed with the ending and it somehow reminded me of the series My Ambulance, which was very popular however, the ending kinda made the viewers unhappy. About the series, the novel it was based upon had the same ending and also I think it is the best case scenario. In the end all I can say is this series is not everyone's cup of tea, and those who are looking for a fluffy BL will be disappointed, however, 
it somehow presents a milestone for Channel 3 and I hope they will continue to make BL in future too. What do you think about the series?